Welcome back YouTubers to part 48. So I'm back here at the city. The Saint Denis city. And here let me go on ahead and check out one of these question marks. I don't know what they are. A stranger. Okay. Let me see. So let's go here. Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Oh, is this Mary Linton? My beloved? This should be interesting. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? <sighs> yeah, I'll do it for Mary Linton. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know, sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. Mm, she wants. She want to do that, but she's afraid or something. P.S. Okay, let's... What do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Okay, here we are. Let's hit the horse. What are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing, Marilyn? Follow me. This is the place. Let me 
go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. <laughs> Can't stand there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just <laughs> get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady. You'd be dead already. But if you continue <laughs> to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever. I what a loser. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Oh, we we'll need to keep our distance. Okay. The drunk bastard. Down here. Come here. Huh. Quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! <laughs> He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. There he is. I'll never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. There he is. That old fart. What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. Wrong. You don't understand. Right. Mother left it to me. <laughs> you <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that? Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Where's my horse? There's... No, it's not it. Okay, let's take... Just take this one. Hey! Stop that coach! Get back here! You hear me? Stop that damn coach! God damn it!
stop right now. Stay still. Don't run away from me. Nice one. Drive to a secluded spot. Okay. Let's drive to a secluded place. See now. Get Mary's brooch from the buyer. Get Pull out. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Yeah, sure. Here. Here, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. I'll Somebody kill you. I'll kill you. Okay, let's go back to Mary Linton. All the things you do for love, Arthur Morgan. Well, all the things all men do for love. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Whoa. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Whoa. Uh, of course. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? Let's do It'll this. It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. So, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. Didn't pay for the tickets? Okay. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Well, 
this should be interesting. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Yes. Abington. The girls are wearing a brand new gown. We're heading to the Sunday town. Carpet bag is cold. Okay, finally over. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I should have never right. did that. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't just Arthur go at her place? My life wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? No, it's not. I can't lie to you. It's not. I'm on it, man. Mary, if I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me. Arthur, run away right now and don't look back. Yeah, let's do that. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Ah, crap. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. You have money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. And I had some. Then some fool got it trapped into a town and I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. You dumb fool, Arthur. Well, it looks like this is the end of this mission. Okay, be sure to check out the next one. Have a nice day. See you. Bye bye. Toodaloo.